The crest has powers of healing. You can use it to regenerate health over time, or heal moderate wounds instantly. It can be used only once per day, but its power is everlasting, as are the powers of all the crests. I come across wounded creatures in the forest many times, and, of, and, all, and too often there is little I can do. With the Redeemer's crest, perhaps I can be of greater help. Thank you, Instructor Jarvis. A good choice, Alia. M may both your crest and your citizenship serve you well. Now, Janthos, which crest will you choose? I think I want the Guardian crest, but, well, the power of the Enforcer crest is tempting, so tempting. I could fortify the offensive strength of my golems with it, uh, but, uh, what is the power of the Guardian crest? The Guardian crest ra will raise a magic shield over whoever I choose. It is a great defensive tool that I can def deflect the blows of those who seek to cause harm. I have always been a little on the frail side, so maybe I should take this. Yanthos is correct, but just the crest but the crest has an additional power. It can also raise a separate shield to defend those against who wield magic. Both powers, with both powers active, it is a defensive tool against a wide spectrum of foes. Maybe I should have chose that one. It's so hard to decide, but, it'll, but I'll stay with the Redeemer. Hopefully I can do more with it. What is the power of the Enforcer crest? The Enforcer is a wonderful offensive tool. With it, you can enchant weapons with a wreath of magical flame. You, can you imagine how that might improve my golems? That sounds truly terrifying, Yonthos. Please, Instructor Jarvis, make him take the Guardian. Oh, Yonthos, don't you see that your safety is so much more important than the tools of those soulless toys you seem to be obsessed with? All of the crests offer considerable power, and that is why they are only given to those who achieve full citizenship. Only those who truly serve the Emperor ca can be trusted with such tools. And let's, let us wait silently. Please, Yanthos, take the Guardian Crest. Your golems don't need any more power. You, however, do need some amount of protection. Curse you, Alia. I'll take the Guardian Crest if you're so concerned. But don't think you can keep me from finding ways to make my creations more powerful. The best way to protect this city is to make those who guard it as strong as possible. An excellent choice, Yanthos. I too believe the Guardian Crest would serve you the best, though, Earth. Your point about the city's protection is well taken. Now, Samuel, it is your turn to decide which power you wield as the citizen, uh, citizen of the Empire. Hmm. So, protection, healing, and offensive. I think... I think we feel we need protection. With the Guardian Crest at your side, you can protect the Empire from its enemies. Are you comfortable with your choice? Yes, I want the Guardian Crest. Very well. Then let us begin the closing ceremony. I'm sure you are eager to explore your new powers and the, the new role you you shall play as citizens in this fine empire. And congratulations to you all. I suppose I should return to my work with my columns. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, my little one. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Come, let us go and find you to an inn. I am sure your father will be very proud 
once he receives word of your citizenship, Samuel. It's quite the achievement, after all. Perhaps so, but I wish he'd been here to see me accept the honours. I'm sure he must have been some sort of pressing business that had interfered with his attendance, Samuel. It meant so much to him. He would not have missed this event for over a trivial matter. I think we're feeling pretty disappointed at this point. I think we're... We're just going to say that, yes, of course. Of course I am. Magistrate Ocaris is very proud of you. Rest assured of that fact. I have often heard him speak pra praises of your accomplishments here at the Academy to the visiting politicians. For now, though, you should clear your mind of such distractions. I have some news that m may lift your spirits. One of the Emperor's elite organizations seems to have taken an interest in you. It is an honor given to very few of your young age. Although I don't think they're taking into consideration the fact that we are in fact 170. But never mind. <laughs> Who has taken such an interest? The Shadow Guard, a force in the Rakar. Direct service. Very little known is about them and I will not bias you with with few rumours I have heard. Suffice to say, the service to the Empire has been a shining light in dark times. Though I have rarely been impressed by your wild and unruly behaviour here in the Academy. However, it seems your position as son of Magistrate Ocaris has drawn a great deal of attention to you. Your actions reflect the training of the academy. As such, I would like to make a good impression. I would like you to make a good impression on the Shadow Guard. A man named Macarius Albright is waiting for you in the market. He told me to guide you his way. Should you succeed and gain acceptance into the Shadow Guard, your power and renown will be equaled only by your father's. If there was ever a time you wished to explore the Empire outside of Garak, this is your opportunity. Farewell for now, Samuel, and take this tom as a parting gift from me. It is the chronicle of our world, Araban, and you will do well to study it. Let it be your guide in all that comes, for the lessons of the past are lessons for our future. Raka's blessing upon you, child. Farewell, Instructor Jarvis. So. We are now a full citizen. And we'll leave the game there for, um, for today. Oh, I think we've run over quite a bit. Is it Samuel 4? Yes, it is. Right. So when we come back, we will leave and we'll be off to the outside. So, uh, stick good care of yourself, stay safe, and when we come back, there'll be more Neverwinter Nights. Bye-bye.